Hi, my name is Cobano and welcome to the third and hopefully final video in the Massive Gaming Pickups set that I'm doing at the moment. Um, if you've not watched the previous two, please go back and watch them. Um, I guess I'm biased here, but you know, I think they're great, as certainly from my perspective. I've got lots and lots of games, but this one, this one is absolutely going to be amazing. This one has games in it from the NES, the Super Nintendo, the N64. Oh, I just can't wait to get into this. This was some of the uh, the real consoles and the games that made my childhood. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it. The audio is going to be a little bit higgledy-piggledy just to forewarn, um, just because I've just recorded two of these videos, now I'm recording a third, and things are everywhere. However, let's start with some Super Nintendo, um, because I didn't get too many games for the Super Nintendo, but I did get some, um, and one of them actually included the Super Game Boy, um, which allowed you to play Game Boy games on a Super Nintendo. Absolutely wanted one of these, I've got a number of Game Boy games up in my collection that I'm looking at, um, so it's superb. Uh, also though I did get a Game Boy game in there which was Tetris 2. Um, the sequel to the ever popular Tetris. As well, I've got a couple of other Super Nintendo games. Uh, so I've got Super Mario World and Street Fighter 2. Okay, right, that's the Super Nintendo. Didn't get much from the Super Nintendo, I was kind of hoping there'd be a bit more. Um, but alas, it was not to be. Okay, right, let's see, let's do N64 next, get the loose cartridges out of the way and we can get into the bigger and better stuff. Um, so, in the Nintendo 64, lot a lot of filler here, but um, one great game which is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, as I said, a bit of filler, WCW NWO Revenge. WrestleMania 2000. 007 Golden Eye, fantastic game that, absolutely love that. I was the the pain in the backside that would uh, run around as odd job and make everyone really struggle to shoot me down. Uh, Perfect Dark. Another WCW NWO game, this one worldwide. And finally, another wrestling game, WWF No Mercy. Okay, right. Uh, right, let's see. So, I have a, a Game Gear, uh, a Game Gear, let's try that again. I have a GameCube game here, and then we'll go on to some Nintendo Entertainment System games, so some NES games. Uh, so for the Game Gear, uh, just one game, Resident Evil, absolutely fantastic game. One of the, the better versions of it as well. Uh, probably only surpassed by the, the PlayStation 4 one where... They've really done a fantastic job in making that HD. Okay, NES. So we've got a pile of unboxed games and then some boxed ones. Boxed NES games, I can't believe it. It's absolutely a, a dream come true for me. Um, so, oh yes. sorry, I'm distracted by the amazing in my hand. Um, so we have Track and Field 2 on the NES. Uh, Burai, I think, Fighter. NES Open, fantastic fun. I believe this was hidden in the, um, the Nintendo Switch code when it was first released. If you set the game to a certain date and didn't update the firmware and did certain things, you could actually play this on the Switch. Um, Kick Off, great game. Football game there, but superb. Uh, one which requires the Rob the Robot accessory. One that I didn't actually have go growing up. I had the other uh, Rob game, um, but this one I didn't have. Gyromite. Um, one which I think may end up in a picture frame, if I'm honest, because it's cool. Uh, Star Wars, the uh, first one, New Hope, as it was later renamed. And then Punch Out, which is an amazing game. Okay, right. I have to get these out a few at a time because they're right at the bottom of the bag. But we have some boxed NES games now. Um, 
So we'll start with Donkey Kong Classic. Um, contains both Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. Great condition, got all its instructions in there. Absolutely elated with that. As I am with this next one, which is uh, DuckTales. Loved the DuckTales franchise and the game itself was one that I uh, really, really loved. Uh, I especially like little things like this on the case where you see like state of the art or high resolution graphics. High resolution graphics in the 8 bit era. I cannot imagine there are anything like the high resolution graphics of today where we've got 4K games that we can play. Uh, one that I haven't played before, which is uh, Turbo Racer. Oh, sorry, Turbo Racing. Okay, back to the bag. Oh, okay, I've got three more. Um, and there's some more still at the bottom of the bag, which is great. Um, so, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or was this Hero? I think it was Hero over it. Yes, it was Hero Turtles in the UK, due to um, ninjas being deemed too violent for children. Um, one which I am not relishing taking the sticker off, but I'm looking forward to playing. Uh, Duck Hunt. And then Dragon's Lair. Okay. I think I can get the last of them out of the bag. Oh, that's a daisy. Not only did I get them out of the bag, but I dropped the game on the floor. Okay, let's try this again. So, last two games for the NES. Um, we have Crash Test Dummies and Micro Machines. Okay, right. Um, what to do next? So, as well as all of the games that I got for the, the NES, the 64, the SNES, the Game Boy GameCube, I uh, also got a couple of other bits, one of which I've never seen before. Um, and this was an accessory released for the GameCube. Um, not going to be able to tell too much from here, but if you have a look at the bottom here, it's an external battery pack for the GameCube. So, by the looks of things, the way this works is you would plug in your power supply into the back of the GameCube here, charge up the battery, and then you could use the cable ends here to connect to the GameCube and power up your GameCube without actually being connected to AC. So if you had a little portable TV or a, a TV that you could travel around with, maybe one in the car, you could play your GameCube on the go, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm not too sure if I want to plug this in because I'm guessing this is a, an old lithium ion battery but at the same time quite a, an interesting thing to have. Okay, um, let's go through the wires because getting into the, the next bit is going to be difficult um, but the, I will finish on the, the big ticket item I suppose. Um, so we have couple of N64 pads, we've got a red one that's covered in marker pen, a grey one and a yellow one which is a bit dirty but will be cleaned by the time I'm done with it. Um, in addition to that though, we've got a pad for the Super Nintendo and also got a Nintendo 64 Missing its front pad, it's got power supply and the RF module, but it's not got a cable to connect it to a TV. Um, they're not too expensive if I'm honest, and I'm not too worried about that. Um, also though, um, and this is something I'm really happy to put in the collection, albeit it's missing cables. Uh, a Super Nintendo, um, in really good condition, um, so very happy to stick this into my uh, collection. Okay, just fold that back in its bag and grab the final item which honestly um, is something that I've really wanted for a while and has made me very happy to now own. I don't know if you saw it then but a Super Nintendo Super Scope all in its box all the paperwork, the box is a bit tatty and it's a bit ripped, but it's a super scope. Um, want one of these for wanted one of these for the longest time, um, and now I have one. Next up on my uh, big want list is going to be the what was it called? The Menacer Sega's equivalent to the the super scope. Um, 
and certainly much better than this thing, uh, the the Nez Zapper. I have a couple of these now. This one's a bit, as you can hear, a bit springy. Um, hopefully it still works, but um, with the Super Scope now, I can play some of the the amazing games that came with it. Okay, um, that's it. Uh, I apologise if I've gone a bit on a bit, and this hasn't been everything you you were hoping for. But for me, honestly, getting these NES games, NES was the first actual console that I owned growing up, so I played a lot of these games already, and some of them I, are games that I coveted and wanted, um, but never got. So now owning them um, has given me a reason to go out and find somewhere or something selling a NES online to get into those again now okay um, I'm gonna say thank you again thank you for watching um, I hope you have enjoyed these videos um, and do continue to enjoy them if you have any feedback please leave it in the comments section um, I do read every comment um, and I do appreciate anyone who watches these I making these because it's a bit of an experience for me going out collecting these things and I like to share it with people um, and I hope that you know in turn you share your collections with me um okay yes thank you and i will see you in the next video